Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Movie Plus Starter Edition to do chroma keying in this section, in this part I'm doing, and also compositing and keyframing and picture in picture. These are some of the big things that a lot of people want to do and can't. First of all, this is what Movie Plus looks like when you open it. The wizard appears as it does in a lot of software. Uh, the nice thing about this is learn. The learn section is here that has some tutorials in it. Now, all of the tutorials won't work simply because this is a free starter edition. And like all free starter editions of major software, it has some things that don't work. And in this, you can tell what won't work by the pink. Here's narrate your video. It's pink. You cannot design a menu for your DVD. You cannot rip a CD. You can't write a file to a camcorder or make a blue, uh, excuse me, Blu-ray disc. And there are a couple of other things. The other thing it can't do is some of the effects are, um, we'll put a watermark on your video and uh, they're not marked but that's okay because this the way we're going to use this program is for doing some major overlay work and it does that really really nicely okay first thing you notice is up in the upper right you have the media pane and you have the properties pane we're going to be using those in the lower left you have your and at the bottom you have your timeline with your tracks in it you can also switch to a storyboard view which is really good for doing slideshows but for videos and especially for overlay work you have to work off the timeline the video track is for your background video the overlay track is for anything you put on the background video so let's get going the first thing we have to do is import our film clip, our video clips, and our still images. Click on Media on the Project tab, Import Media, Import. And I'm going to import a couple of these guys to use in the first one. And then I have to import a couple of other things here. I've already made a little fish clip. Okay, there we are. Now, first thing, you want to drag your background video down to your video track and you get this message. Do you want the project settings to match the settings of the source format, which is this first clip? And yes, I do. And this is really a great thing because you do not have to go to edit preferences or options or anything and do all of that by hand. You don't have to set your project settings by hand. Also, I don't want the audio on this. Oops, excuse me. So I can just click the little speaker next to the audio track and that mutes it. That turns it off. I'm going to first, we're going to put a still image down here. The still images, because they're the same at the beginning as at the end, you can just drag them out and make them as long as your clip. You will also notice, click in the blue bar, that it doesn't fit. It's not wide enough. My fish clip is widescreen. My puzzle pieces are not. In this bar above the timelines are the most often used kinds of things. And one of them is fit. And just come down and click on stretch and it fits. Now we want to chroma key this to remove the green and let the fish below in the video track show through. So we're going to click on effects. Up in the properties pane, the effects tab, click on add effect. Click on chroma key. The presets for chroma key appear. Click. Click OK. Scroll down because we're going to use these. Click and hold on the eyedropper. Bring it over here and release it. Now, notice that not all the green went away. There's a reason for that. The green along the sides over here is in, not in a well-lighted area, and it's a little darker shade of green. What we're going to do is, see we have these high and low sliders. Click, 
and then start sliding and magically the rest of the green disappears and you can fiddle with both of them and there we go and then if you click you can watch the fish swim through the puzzle pieces and you're going to be doing the same thing with your green screen and that's how easy it is to do chroma keying now this is with a still image let's do some chroma keying with an image that moves right click and delete the still image click on the media pane take my Martian grass put it down here click in the middle of it and you'll see it doesn't fit either it's not widescreen click on fit click on stretch click on effects add effects chroma key chroma key preset click OK scroll down Click and hold on the eyedropper, and now we're going to get rid of black. Now you notice that the little fingers of things here have a really rough black outline. What we're going to do is, there we go, we don't want to erase it all. Okay, okay that's pretty good. And if we play, our fish are swimming. Now these grow. You can watch them start to grow out from the sides. There we go. Now, unlike still images that are the same at the beginning and at the end, so you can drag them out and make them last as long as you want them to last, you can't do that with a, with a video. A video is not the same at the be as the beginning at the end. So you've got a copy, right click copy, right click in the overlay track and paste it. Now the problem with that is at the beginning of the video there's none of that Martian grass. At the end of the video there's a lot, but at the beginning of the next one there's a little bit. So it's going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We don't want it to go back and forth. So what can we do? Come up here to the Properties pane, click on the Properties tab, under Playback is Reverse. You can reverse the video using this program. Click Reverse, and that second one reverses, so that now as it plays through, it, as it goes toward the end, the grass retreats, just like it grew at the beginning. Okay, so that is chroma keying. Now to save your video, come up to File, Export Movie. You'll notice you can't burn a DVD or VCD or Blu-ray disc with this limited starter edition. But you can save it for as a file. You get a couple of options here. Generally I just save as a Windows, Media, Audio, and Video. And I know mine is 720. And I check over here, and lo and behold, what's it say? It's PAL. You have to remember, um, Serif is a, or Serif, however you say it, is a British, a UK company. And Britain and almost all the rest of the world uses a PAL frame rate, which is 25. The United States and Japan, of course, being different, use NTSC. So if you see PAL up here, you want to come down here to Customize and Video Details Frame Rate PAL. Click, click this and click NTSC and click OK. Choose a name for a template. No, you don't. I don't have to do that. I already did one. It's here under Custom. It's US Video. So when I click on it, it automatically changes to NTSC. Render quality, there's one higher than high, and that's best, which is very slow. You can even use good or normal or whatever you'd like. And then click Finish. And the save will come up. Make sure you know where it's being saved to, my videos. And then give it a name. Okay. C-H-R-O-M-A. Chroma keying and then you click save 
Now, my experience, I've done a couple of these. Here's one. Um, uh, it saves fairly quickly. Okay. Now, this that's how you chroma key. That's how you open a project. That's how you add videos to the video track and the overlay track. And that's how you chroma key. And then how you saved your file. I hope this has been helpful.